Hi, my name is Dave Heggie from Frontier Egg and Turf, and today we're going to talk just a little bit about our yield and moisture sensors and readings and how it works on a John Deere combine. Um, the S series combine today is, or this is our newest one, and I'm going to give you an example of what it's doing. To take a moisture reading, it's always taking sample of whatever you're doing. You're going to, you're going to put in your monitor what you're doing. So in other words, I'll give you an example from doing wheat to oats, to barley, this combine or the monitor needs to know what it's doing. So you're gonna go up into your monitor in your cab and you're gonna program it. Tell them, tell it when it comes to calibration and everything. Now once we get everything all set up in the cab, we're gonna come into the mechanical part end of it. When it's taken moisture reading, we have a little auger in here and it's taken a sample in the elevator, from the elevator of what you're combining. And it's slowly, that auger is slowly augering the corn from the intake of the crop going up to the exit part of it. And it's reading, and it's reading moisture. And so that's what's telling us up into the moisture or up into the monitor what we're doing. So that's the mechanical part of the moisture. As far as the mechanical part of the yield is up on top of the combine at the elevator. It's an impact plate, okay? On the impact plate, what it's doing there after calibration is the crop or the backside of the elevator, which is, has the paddles full of our crop, is coming up and carrying it over the top and that impact plate is taking the pressure of our crop up against that and it's reading. It's taking readings and again going to our monitor and that's what's telling us yield. Uh, as we go out on our inspections, we want to watch that impact plate because again, it's taken on crop all the time so it wears so we're seeing wear on that poly it's a poly and so we'll watch that as far as the auger they're asking us to clean them every once in a while uh, we're going to do some high moisture corn so we've all been there a buildup we're looking for buildup on the on the sensors itself so we want to take this thing apart every once in a while take it apart again the operator's manual will tell us to clean that out now this is a s series combine we're gonna back up to the 70s series combine. Up in the 70s combine, all our work is done up in the grain tank, okay? But we're gonna go, the only difference is my, my moisture sensor. My moisture sensor, when you turn the key on, you'll hear it cycle. What it is is a plunger, and that plunger is ex retracting to take our sample of our crop, and after a few seconds of reading, it kicks it back out into our corn and into the grain tank, or soybeans, or whatever we're doing. So that's how that moisture sensor works. And it's all up into the grain tank. Now, the impact plate's the same. The impact plate on all John Deere combines and our, on our yield monitor is all up in the tank, whether it be the 9,000 series combines or the 70 series combines or the S's. We'll go to the 9,000 series. The 9,000 series has the same thing as the S series, but it is a bigger, or a bigger sensor. It takes, it takes the same type of a deal as our little auger, but it's taken sample the same as our S series from the heavy part or the loaded part of the elevator and exiting out on the empty side. It's going to be the same theory. Uh, again, calibration uh, is important when we need to do this. Uh, it needs to know exactly what crop it's doing and that should do it. Thank you.